saddle fitting with the thermal imaging camera is a very objective process. We conduct a three-stage saddle fitting. First of all, the saddle is just placed on the horse's back for a few minutes and then the image of the underside of the saddle shows which areas are in most contact with the horse's back. This will give you an indication of how well the saddle is fitting just while the horse is at rest. For the second stage, you can either lunge or loose school the horse in the saddle and that again will give us an idea of whether the saddle's fitting the horse while he's in work. Finally, for the third stage, the rider rides the horse for a few minutes in the saddle, working evenly on both reins. We then look again at the underneath of the saddle, which will give an idea of whether the rider is sitting to one side or the other, in front or behind the movement, and can give a really good picture of whether the saddle or the rider, or both, may need help. So thermal imaging of the underside of the saddle after the horse has been ridden in it can give you a really good objective view of how well it's fitting or not. In this instance, this saddle is bridging and it's only in contact with the horse's back in four points rather than evenly throughout the panels. So this isn't a very good fit for this particular mare. Um, for the purpose of this demonstration, we've done the thermal imaging outside so that you can clearly see what's going on. But normally, thermal imaging must be done under cover, away from direct sunlight and away from any drafts. Environmental factors like this can influence the images and create artefacts or anomalies within the pictures that you're viewing.